Hello everyone, it is Aaron Flitto and I am here and uh, happy Thursday. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry that this video is late. Um, I have been battling a migraine for the past couple days and it has not been good. I just got completely knocked out and uh, I, I can't really explain it. Um, I, a lot of people have been messaging me on Instagram where I put that information out and uh, thank you to everyone that uh, provided some good tips. I don't get these that often, probably like once every month or two, but when I do it like really is killer. So I, uh, I really appreciate all of the uh, tips and suggestions as well. So I am working on my Animal Crossing master list. So I decided to do this in a weird way. <laughs> I, I, it's probably not the best way to do it now that I think about it, but I decided to break it up into different sections. Um, items that are available all year round and then when they become new. So January when there's new items, which there are none. <laughs> uh, February when there's new items. Um, and by items I mean uh, both well, all of the fish, all of the bugs, and all of the sea creatures. I want to create a master list for that. So basically, I'm just breaking it up that way. Again, not the best way to do it, but it makes sense in my brain, so I decided to do it that way. It probably would have been easier to do a bugs list, A through Z, a fish list, A through Z, sea creature list, A through Z. But my brain works by when things become available. <laughs> so that's why I decided to do it that way. So I am basically making these giant checklists and I'll be going through at the end and uh, marking in the ones that I have on my island currently. I started a brand new island two weeks ago. I really needed well, I didn't really need a change of pace, but I got a new switch, so you kind of have to start a new island, um, because pre previously I was doing it on my Switch Lite, because there were no switches available at the beginning of the pandemic, and now that there are, I decided to go ahead and get um, a brand new switch. Uh, my husband and I are having a lot of fun playing a lot of games on it, so... Uh, definitely why I wanted to do it because I wanted to do things like play Mario Kart with him and things like that. So that's why I got it. And I am working on this in, uh, I decided to use this uh, notebook that I have from Archer and Olive and create one on the craft paper and then the next paper was white so I decided to do it on white paper as well. Or the next paper was black so I decided to do it on black paper using white pen. That's what I meant. I'm sorry. I'm all, I'm still a little flustered from the past couple days. I basically slept 12 hours a day. Um, that's how I primarily combat my migraines is by sleeping. <laughs> So I'm just starting to get to the point where I can do uh, different types of terraforming and things like that. So I think this is something that is very different from the first time that I played that I really wanted to spend more time on my island versus being a completionist. I do still want to complete this list, but it's not my primary objective right now. My primary objective is designing an island that I like. So I decided just to kind of keep keep trying to get things, but honestly, I'm, I'm just spending a lot more time doing island designs and terraforming and trying to figure out which way I can make the island really cute. Right now, it's, it's not the cutest island. Like I said, I just unlocked terraforming, so I have not done the best job so far but I I've unlocked like different paths using the custom tools and things like that that I didn't really do last time and I 
I'm going to make certain things like libraries and, and try to get like a really five star looking island versus being a completionist, which is the only thing I was really focused on prior to that. But since I almost completed the list minus the months I didn't do on my last island, I was like, okay, well, right now I'm kind of entering the same phase that I am from the previous year where I was starting in March and uh, actually April I started in April so I'm gonna be going through the same exact things except for more sea creatures this time because sea creatures weren't released until a couple months in so I was like okay well I've, I've already completed all of these things I've, I've already gotten all of these so now my main focus is working on my island and uh, making it really really pretty exploring to get like different uh, villagers that I actually want on my island versus just taking what's there. So I, I'm really excited for all of that. I know it doesn't, you know, it, people play different games for lots of different reasons. So I guess it doesn't really matter why I'm playing, but I thought I would just give that little tidbit. And I thought it might be fun to do a video, um, of me designing my island. This is called Air and Floated Designs and it's primarily a bullet journaling slash art slash lettering channel. But I did keep my name very broad, Air and Floated Designs, so that I could go into different areas. And like, I feel like designing an Animal Crossing island might be fun. So please let me know in the comments below if you are interested in uh, having a video about that because it may not, it, I don't know, I, I'm still like kind of on the fence about doing anything like that because I'm not a gamer streamer, I'm, I just make bullet journals, but I do play a lot of games, so I don't know, it's always something that I thought about in the back of my mind, but it's obviously not something I'm going to be pursuing because I'm already uh, struggling to do as many videos as I do now, so... Um, anyways, here is the list and we're gonna go hop into my island really shortly and I uh, hope you guys stick around and are interested in this video. Please let me know in the comments below if you do want to see me design some parts of my island and um, yeah, I'll turn it over to real life me now. Alright, last but not least, I am going into my island. I will mark in what I already know that I have. This is my chick, this is my island. <laughs> Um, I have my little pumpkin patch up here. I just started terraforming the crap out of this because I just got it last night because I, I made a new island. So I just started doing all the terraforming. I added this whole section over here that was not there. So I added this to do my museum and I'm moving my museum. You know, all the interesting things. I'm sure you are all intrigued. I added this whole situation up here. I'll be moving this a little bit, I think. I don't know. I'm still trying to work out how I want this to look. I started my path, but then I got bored, so I don't want to do that. Oh, what's wrong? What's wrong, Tammy? Oh, Tammy wants to leave. Good. Oh no, now I need to go find a new, no, I need to find a new one tomorrow. That's fine, totally fine. Tammy was one of like the ones that I didn't have a choice. So, <laughs> bye Tammy. Oh, hi Leopold. Okay, so I have a little part of my resident area over here. This museum's moving, this next cranny is moving, and then a little residential area over here. So with all that said, I just kind of wanted to show you around my island. Uh, one of the things that I, I picked this island specifically because it had a heart lake <laughs> right there. So let's go ahead and go into my critters and see what I have. Okay, so like I said, this list doesn't make 100% sense when you're like trying to do it this way where you're 
like marking in things that you currently have. I mean, a lot of them are in the available all year section, but there's some things that are available in other areas. And like I said, not all the lists were like, I think completely accurate because, you know, there's some things that I haven't from June, but I might've gotten that on a mystery island also. So, you know what? I don't know. I, I don't actually know, but Basically, I'm just putting together this list. I think once I get past all of the initial stuff, it'll be easier because I'll, then I'll just be focusing on what the new things are for that coming month. So for next month, I'll only be focusing on what's new in April. I And I think that will end up working. And then I am going to go in and I'm going to highlight all of those areas for green, blue, and then like maybe a dark blue and then a lighter blue because I do want to differentiate between the bugs, the fish, and the sea creatures. And I did do that on the black paper where I used a blue pen and then a green pen. So I just want to differentiate it a little bit more and I think it'll be more interesting. Okay, I think that's all I have so far. So I have a lot missing on this island. Again, I only started about two weeks ago. Um, I had a previous island on my Switch Lite, and so now I am on a brand new island with my Switch. So this is my whole master list for the Animal Crossing bugs, fish, and sea creatures. So um, if they come out with more stuff later, at least I have <laughs> this list to work from when I create a brand new list. So my focus this time doing Animal Crossing is working on my island more rather than trying to get every single um, fish and things like that because I've already gotten a significant amount of these because I played before from April till I think September around the end of Nova or end of August uh, early September. So then I stopped playing for a while and now I'm super back into it. So that's why I thought I would create this master task list or master task list, this master list today. Um, I did use a spreadsheet to help me make this along with a lot of websites. So some of it may not be completely accurate. Like I know that this bird wing is currently on my island and it says April but it's in, it's on my island right now. So I'm not really sure about that. So I relied on a lot of that uh, online sources for that. So you know what, if it's not perfectly accurate, it's not perfectly accurate, but I thought that having these on uh, some separate sheets might be fun. So I hope that uh, this video was interesting or at least soothing to you. And thank you so much for joining me. If you do like this video, if you want to watch me play Animal Crossing, maybe I'll do that at some point um, once I get a capture card if you guys are interested. So please let me know. I do have an idea to do some like art within uh, Animal Crossing. So I really would like to do that as well. So please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that kind of jazz. I will see you next time. Bye everyone.